Good morning, folks. We've got minor eruptions beginning on the sun again, a volcano, galaxy life cycles, and the rundown of Cassini's death plunge into Saturn on Friday. But first, three days ago, a gigantic solar flare erupted just behind the western limb. Despite its position, ejecta was seen in halo from our position, and so we've awaited a possible glancing blow from the shockwave, and as forecast, the bulk mass of the CME missed Earth, but a small, faint ripple in the electric field plasma compressed and coupled with Earth's magnetic field to drive magnetic ground perturbations at high latitude, affecting Canada and Europe the most, with some electric field potential spikes down into the northern Midwest states at the peak of the disruption. It was a low-level geomagnetic storm only, but even it was able to temporarily halt the decline of the proton radiation storm, still in it this morning. Now let's come to spaceweathernews.com and find the mini-me versions of last week's fireworks coming from the lone sunspot popping ripples through the corona. It is also driving plasma ejecta streams visible in 304 angstroms. These are likely to affect the solar wind at Earth on Friday and into the weekend, but they will be minor and likely far overshadowed by the impact of the coronal hole on the north. Its solar wind is en route now, and in terms of watching the seismic action, we've had blot echoes and volcanic alerts posted by the Vanuatu government, one of four locations on the Ring of Fire we're eyeing now. Let's come to Saturn, where Cassini is set to plunge into the atmosphere of the planet as it runs out of fuel. Folks, a bit of bad news for those excited that they are keeping their instruments on. That does not include the camera. They say photos are too big to send that fast, and so there will be no visibility available to the public of that dive. What was the key word in there? Anyway, moving on to a study of how starbursts within galaxies help them grow in overall size, not just a number of stars, after which they deflate and enter old age as lenticular or ellipticals. Interesting read. Folks, another of the regions we're looking for is from Taiwan to Japan, as we've got two cyclones in the area, technically typhoons in this part of the world. The southwest system is heading to Vietnam, while the northern system plans to make a run of the western Pacific subduction zone right up over Japan on Saturday and Sunday. There is no part of Japan that will be unaffected by this storm. Just three days away from announcing many speakers for observing the frontier 2018. There are two we'll be waiting to hear availability in October. But we are 80% set, and for anyone who trusts that we're not going to disappoint, every pre-registration ticket is entered to win free hotel lodging at the conference center. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your win maps, null school run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do it all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.